Hey, what's up everyone? So I've just purchased the Logitech K780. This is a multi-device keyboard. And this keyboard is made to connect to multiple devices. So you can connect up to three devices using these three pushable buttons right here on the keyboard. So you can have your laptop connected, a phone, a computer. So let's unbox this and see what it's like inside and what the unboxing process feels like. So right off the bat, you see the keyboard is a full size keyboard. So it comes with your standard uh, keyboard and it also comes with a number pad on the side here. Let's unwrap it. Right off the bat, this thing feels pretty heavy duty. First impressions, it's, uh, it's pretty hefty. It feels like a pretty high quality keyboard overall. Here's the, the clicking noises. This definitely won't bother people around your environment if that's something you have a concern with. So this is a multi operating system keyboard, which means it has this uh, command key, which is made for Mac. And it's also used as Windows. And if we go to the back of the keyboard here, you can see there are some rubber, rubber pads here that hold the keyboard to the desk. And they are on every corner here, one, two, three, four. And there's also a mini one right here. The keyboard will not be sliding around by any means while you're using this. So I'm giving it a little push here. It's really not going anywhere. This uh, engravement, it's made to put, you know, devices on there. So here's a pixel and that's how it stands on here. This is um, 12 inches long, about a foot. So you can put a phone on there and a tablet if that's a setup that you wish to go with. I don't think the keyboard comes off of this uh, rubber piece in case you're wondering. So if you're someone who doesn't need this rubber piece, you may have to do a custom DIY job to get this uh, white piece removed. The batteries I'm reading on the box, they last up to seven, uh, 24 months, which is two years, which is really amazing and makes this keyboard a hassle-free experience. So the way you open the battery compartment back here is you push it down and you have to push it down pretty hard. So just like that, you hear a click and it comes off. And there's the unifying receiver right there. It's just a little storage compartment here. Very convenient, very cool Logitech for adding this in. And it runs on two AAA batteries, which last for 24 months, two years. Hassle-free, that's awesome. Okay, so to connect this keyboard to a device, there's a few ways to do it, and the instructions are on the box here. So what you do is you go to the back of the keyboard here, and you open it, and then you can use the unifying receiver or Bluetooth to connect it. So here's the connecting options, Bluetooth or unifying receiver, which is a little USB dongle. And the way you connect the device is you hold the button for three seconds in pairing mode, and then uh, it takes you through the pairing process. So let's jump in and do that together. So to connect this keyboard to the computer, we're gonna need to select a profile. I already hit one, so I'm gonna hit it again. You should see it blinking like this. That means it's trying to pair with a device when it's blinking. So once it's pairing, you open your Bluetooth settings up on your device. In this case, I'm gonna be doing it on a MacBook Pro laptop. And if I click the connect button here, it's asking me to type in a code on the keyboard I'm trying to connect and then push enter. So let's do that. So it's asking me to click six, three, two, three, six, two, followed by enter. So I push that and then click connect. Let's see if it connects. Let's try to type on the keyboard. Looks like it's working right here. So if I type in A A A or S S S over here, looks like it's going. Awesome, it's connected. And it looks like it also works on here as well. So T T T T T T. You can see it's typing the T's. All right, so this has been my guide on how to connect this keyboard to a device. And if you wanna connect a second device to this keyboard, all you do is repeat the process, but hit which device you wanna use. This keyboard does run around for $60 on Amazon. So if this video was helpful to you and you're looking to buy this keyboard, I would really appreciate it if you guys went in the description and bought the keyboard through my link. 
that would help me continue to make more YouTube videos for this channel. Awesome, thank you for watching this video everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more tech videos in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. All right everyone, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.